Francisco. Okay. Welcome to Elvis Friends Matter. It's us and we're in love again. And if you don't want to hear about Elvis, you're on the wrong Tune out. channel. But today we're going to get started by talking about uh, our birthday. Our birthday and <clears throat> and uh, thank everybody. Get some shout outs here to some very special people to us. Yes, we uh, on our on my birthday uh, for our birthday we went down to Oxford um, to visit with my cousins and my uncle and aunt that I hadn't seen in a while, and I would like to say thank you to, and that we love seeing you to Bob, who is my cousin, Barbara Ronsville, Lee Ronsville, Vivi Ronsville, Barry and Shirley Prestige, uh, Barry and Bess, and Lane and Angie Bolin. Uh, uh, they were from out of town and I hadn't seen them in a long, long time and we had a really yeah, good time. And thank you so much for the birthday cake. Yeah. And to all the fans that sent us happy birthday wishes and birthday cards and everything else. Everything, all of we it. We appreciate all of it. We did. We makes, did makes two old people feel good. <laughs> Make, makes you feel wanted. Makes you feel wanted. Sure does. <laughs> Today we're going to talk about uh, uh, different things. Uh, we're going to start off with uh, somebody had asked a question about how you woke Elvis up uh, when he was on uh, on tour and all. Oh, really? Any time? Any? Yeah, any time. But mostly, you know, the uh, uh, the one that was with him, you know, up upstairs. Was, bedroom and all usually woke him up uh, as far as on tour and all well at the last I was the yes, only one that, that <clears throat> woke him up I'm talking about like from oh 75 77 and this person asked for well, how'd you wake him up did you did you wash his face, or what, just what did you do? And I said, no. I said, no, that's something we didn't do. Uh, he said, well, I'd heard somebody threw water in his face and woke him up that way. I said, well, somebody lied. If they're, if they're still breathing. Yeah, if they, yeah, <laughs> they still not rubbing the knots on their head, I, then, you know, I don't know what they're talking about because uh, you would never do that. I mean, he would go berserk <laughs> and uh, he probably would hurt somebody. I'd be just, just plain blind about it. Wake him up, it was very yeah, carefully. Yeah, 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 because uh, usually you had to be real soft and, you know, and, and, and from your talk and, and how you approached him and uh, I usually would go in and, and, and just lean over and I'd say, Elvis. And if he didn't respond, I'd say, Elvis. And then if he didn't respond, then I'd barely touch him and say, Elvis. And do that until he woke up, you know, which he was uh, pretty much a light sleeper. It didn't take too awful much to wake him up anyway. And, that's usually how we approach him, uh, how I approach him all the time, because I knew uh, not to <laughs> not to shake him anything else. Uh, he had a bad habit of jaw breaking when you know you woke him up wrong. <laughs> so no, nah, I'm just teasing, well, that, but he but did. He did. It, it scared him, and uh, you know, uh, I think a lot of it went back to his you know uh, younger days. Uh, Sleepwalking, sleep nightmares, and, and all stuff that like that. Stuff. Well, now but, when Linda was with him, she woke him up. Yeah. And she, yeah. you know, she was always gentle, and you know yeah. that that was just Linda. And I don't, <clears throat> I guess Ginger did too. Yeah. I don't, yeah. But uh, you know, I did, waking him up was you know uh, was one thing that you did you know. You certainly didn't pull water. You had to know how to wake him up, you know, uh, anybody, Joe Esposito, any of the guys, they all knew how to wake him up, you know, 
Oh, uh, you certainly wouldn't wash his face with cold water, or you wouldn't throw water on him. Anything or, that or, would startle or, him, or grab him and shake him, you know. Uh, so you know, I, that uh, throwing water in his face—that's all just a, a myth, you know. Yeah, anybody uh, that knew Elvis would know that no, would never work. No that, that would never jihaw. Yeah, <laughs> but. Uh, Boys waking him up, that's how we went about it. And, Excuse me. And, you know, Sorry. I guess that's the way with a lot of people. You know, you don't just grab Start somebody them. and start them, you know. I mean, it wasn't just Ellis. It was a lot of people were like that. You know, they you know, don't like to be woke up that way. It scares you and all that kind of stuff. You ain't no telling what you do. So. Well, you think about it. <clears throat> I hate to think about what I'd do if somebody dashed mm -hmm. water on me. Yeah. So you keep that in mind. <laughs> oh, okay, I will. I, did I ever do that to you? No. <laughs> uh, next. <laughs> well, uh, 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 somebody had asked, how did you uh, wash his hair? Did you use any certain kind of shampoo, or did you wash it in the sink, or was there a specific place that you used, that you went to to wash his hair? You know, you had washed it the night that we played racquetball, the night last night of his life. You usually it was got a water hose with a sprayer on it. <laughs> no, he had. Uh, usually, when I when I did wash it, you know, uh, which was very seldom, very seldom. I can only maybe two times that I remember. Uh, the last night, uh, I washed his hair, and uh, I, I washed it under the, in the sink mm -hmm. under the water there. And, I, and dried it. And, you know, uh, used some, a little shampoo, and uh, then I, you know, dried it for him, tried to style it as best I could, but, you know, uh, I uh, wasn't too much of a hairstyle, so <laughs> I'd get it dry pretty good, and then I let him do the rest and all. But uh, uh, he had real thick hair anyhow, and then, you know, it took it a while to dry, so uh, had to be kind of patient and do it a little along and get it dry for him. Uh, then he would he would do the rest. So that answers the question going around about did Elvis wear a wig? No. Elvis had plenty of hair? No, when he wore a wig, I'd take the wig off and I'd take it <laughs> over to the sink and, no, and he, douse it down. Yeah, and uh, rub it, rub it up and scrub. The only up. time I remember that he ever wore one was during the making of um, Kissing Cousins. That was that he wore a wig then? The blonde? Yeah. And, well, I, you know, I don't... Uh, I don't he certainly know that didn't, he didn't have to wear wear a wig. I, like Jell House Rock, I'm really not sure. I wasn't. I, I, I mean, in, re, in, lo, in his in everyday life. Everyday life, no, 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 no. no, no. He Just didn't. Maybe in the movie, uh, one or two movies, you know. But uh, no wigs. He didn't need it, boy. He had a no. He had beautiful hair. Yeah, great. Head which of hair. brings me to a, <laughs> which brings me to something really funny. Um, I know Linda will remember this. Oh, oh yeah. He, he, his bank, his hair was real long in front, and he didn't have the, the. Uh, he just wanted it done. When Elvis wanted something, he he wanted it done right then. You know, he didn't like to wait. So he, Linda said, "Well, I could trim just you know trim your cross there so it won't be down." He said, "Well, just you know just trim it across a little bit so it won't be all down in my face." So he was talking and. She went to trim, and just as she went to trim, he didn't like that, and she, she cut it across, and and it was short. It was too short, and oh, he just, of course, it was his own fault, but he just had a fit. Oh, you didn't want any girls to look at me. You didn't want... <laughs> you done that on purpose. You did purpose. that on purpose, and she was, she was no, I, no, I didn't. You <laughs> But uh, there's some pictures of it. There's you know, some... I, I know what I saw from here not long ago was... He was out in Denver with the uh, uh, some of the Denver police. And, uh -huh. uh, he had had a hat on, but he had his hat off of in several of them. You can you tell can, it's a little short. You right can there. see it. It's uh, a <laughs> bit short. <laughs> and uh, he wore a hat most of the time. You know. <laughs> <laughs> 
until it kind of grew back grew out. Back. It didn't take it long. <laughs> no. It wasn't that bad, really. He just, uh, he, he exaggerated a yeah. bit. He always exaggerated about everything. <laughs> Drama. Uh, uh, somebody wanted to know if um, anybody else in the family was musically inclined in your whole family. And I would say a lot of them, probably. Maybe. Uh, yeah. Uh, I know Billy had a when when he was well, a teenager was he had a band and he now Patsy Patsy, uh, Patsy Presley Presley she you know she had a, a real pretty voice. voice Elvis's mother and daddy uh, 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 and, uh, uh your cousin Jackie yeah Smith uh and Uncle Vester you know he mm -hmm. played the, he played the guitar guitar and, uh, he might have even sang I really don't know I I never heard him but you know I don't. Uh, I, I've heard. And uh, uh, Uncle Johnny played the guitar. Yeah, yeah. a lot of a yeah, lot of your so. family played uh, instruments, yeah. and, and a lot of them sang, mm -hmm. and and good vo good voices. Billy won't let me play <coughs> any of his uh, things for you, but he had a well, has a really a good voice. Well, we've got a lot of dogs around here, and I just don't, <laughs> he don't feel want to like the you're dogs out and <laughs> One of these days, I'm going to do it. Anyway. Yeah, one of these days, <laughs> Ma, I'll get around to it. Yeah. Uh, would you uh, tell about? I doubt uh, it. But go uh, ahead. Would you tell about um, <laughs> your aunt Gladys and her side of the family, uh, her parents and siblings, and the, and some of their kids? Name you Ooh, can name her right. like her. Yeah. Her mother and daddy were Robert and Octavia mm -hmm. Lavinia. Octavia Octavia Lavinia, which they called Doll. Mm -hmm. And your grandfather was Robert. 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 Yeah. yeah. And. Uh, of course, it was. Their children started out was who was the oldest? Aunt Lillian. Aunt Lillian. And then I think it was. Uh, Retha. Retha. Who uh, was Lillian. Harold Lloyd's mother? Yeah. yeah. Uh, and uh, Aunt Lavelle. Aunt Lavelle. Uh, Your daddy? And no, it was no. one other girl. And I'm trying to think. Aunt Clay. Aunt, no, no, Aunt, no, uh, Aunt, Aunt Gladys. Yeah. And then your daddy. Then daddy. And uh Johnny. Then I think was it No. No, Cletus. Ain't Cletus Saint. Patsy's mother. And then Aka Johnny and Tracy. Tracy. So that, that was, there was a lot of lot of kids. Of uh, there's a lot of kids, you know, family. You had the uh the Smiths, uh ain't ain't the bell. She she was a Smith, Mary Smith. Jean was her Jean son. And, uh, and uh, Junior. Junior, uh, Robert. Uh huh. And Lee Edward. And, uh, and Laverne, her daughter. And Laverne, right. And, and, uh, and Johnny, uh, you, you see um, out at some of the um, conventions and things, you see uh, Janet Smith. That was uh, Johnny's daughter. And. Um, Wayne Mann, who usually they appear together. Wayne was uh, Aunt Lillian's son. Uh -huh. Yeah, so. Aunt Lillian, Uncle Charlie. And Patsy Presley, uh, Patsy Presley, Gamble, and then she remarried later, and I, 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 I don't remember, I don't. Yeah. Uh, she, but uh, she was Vester and Cletus's. She yeah. was Elvis's double, double first, first cousin. cousin. Yeah. Or still is, she mm -hmm. is, she, uh, but that's yeah, the, you can't take that away. And know. then Billy and his brother Bobby was Travis's. Yeah, Travis's um, son. Uncle Johnny had five. Mm -hmm. And uh, got it. Big family. Big, big. Family. big yeah. you, the Smith side of the family had gone. Yeah. So the Presleys did too. But um, I don't know some of Vernon's. Uh, Vernon probably was he the youngest of all those kids. He uh, had a he had a sister, Delta Nash, and he had a sister named Gladys, and Vester and Vernon. So he had had a yeah. big family too. But there was more on Gladys's side as far yeah, as yeah, more, yeah, more, more on Gladys's side, <laughs> yeah. And of course, you know, they had Elvis. <clears throat> uh, they, people were, had asked ask a question: Did uh, could we go out on the um um? Three wheelers without Elvis, or did we normally just wait for him to when he went? No, no. If we, you know, we 
We could. But could, but, you know, most of the time we didn't. You know, I, but, yeah, I've been out on it, you know, a few times, you know. Uh, just me and Joey. Okay, well, you, know, you picked and, the kids up from school before. You know, I, yeah, I picked Danny and Joey up, like, from school. Like, they had a thrill. Got a big kick out of that, a thrill out of it. And to, uh, But uh, most of the time, you know, we waited for him to to go out because when he he got up, you know, usually uh, we were around him. And unless he decided to go out on a motorcycle or three wheelers or something like that, we, we did. We rode a lot anyway, though. Yeah. A lot, a lot at, uh, like my motorcycle, you know. Yeah. Like, I'd take it out. And, uh, We'd go a lot on, on the motorcycle yeah. and. But, <clears throat> But we enjoyed all of it, you know. <laughs> he would, but we, we would, you know, uh, wait for him because uh, like to get out, and, you know, and with him and ride and go around to different places, and, and uh, you know, to be seen with him, you know, what the heck, you know, what else can you ask for? <laughs> <laughs> there was nothing like a ride <laughs> with Elvis. Um, has nothing to do with this but somebody wanted to know you you know the top of his hand that was um where he hurt the top of his hand mm. it it was rumored that a fan scratched him and that's what did it but that's not actually what did it no, no. he had a little tantrum yep and you tell what it what he did what happened to it well he got into it for somebody and he got mad and he was yelling and first thing you know he backhanded and his hand actually hit something sharp on a door facing and it cut it and then from there it got you know got infected, in, infected and all. but that's what caused him and there is Baba Baba okay. uh, were you on a uh, location or, or were you on the set of, um, I don't think you were on King Creo. No. But uh, yeah, I know you were on Viva Las Vegas. Yeah. Uh, no, so would you King tell about Creo that? Was, uh, that was in 58 and uh, uh, hated, but I didn't, I didn't get, even though it was. You were too young. I was out, I wasn't, I was still in school during that time and uh, couldn't go, but. Uh, no, my first movie was uh, Follow That Dream, uh, Blue Hawaii, G.I. Blues, and Wild in the Country. Wild in the Country, I went out for the ending. They had to reshoot the ending of it, and I went out there for it, which <coughs> took about, you know, about a week. I was out there and back. I know uh, you were in Viva Las Vegas and oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, um, Clambake. Girls, girls, girls. Um, um, we can't name them all. Okay, I can't. But from then on, you were in. Um, were you in Spin Out or Speedway? Spin Out, yeah, Speedway. Frankie and Johnny. Mm -hmm. Just, just about everyone after that until the later. Yeah, later. Uh, until Clown Bait was my last movie. Clown Bait. Uh, that I did. Was there an actor or was there an actor that Elvis never wanted to? Huh? Was there an actor that he ever refused to work with or didn't want to work with? Uh, I I didn't. Not I, that I ever heard him mention. I, I don't either. I know there uh, was a few he didn't care for, but yeah, but uh, no. Uh, <clears throat> he Elvis got along with all the you know the people uh, in the movie yeah. industry that you know that they. He worked with. He, he always made I mean, the point you know, to do that. Yeah. Didn't he? yeah. Uh, but I can't remember anybody he didn't get along with. It, I, I can't either. Uh, just was, but then that was Elvis's nature. He was, you know, he was very likable and, you know, it was easy to talk to him. And so, you know, they all just he was fell funny. right in, you know, he, uh, and and felt comfortable around him. And that, that made for a lot of his movies, you know, being uh, on schedule and and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Because uh, people around him enjoyed, you know, doing it too. 
all the directors and and all always all had a party like afterwards and said mm -hmm. how great they were, how great he was to work with. Yeah. I know you've gotten letters uh, before that we still have from some of the um, mm -hmm. directors and saying how what a pleasure it was to work with all you guys and with Elvis. I, um, they always he did fun. have one disappointment. Uh, <laughs> he got a little aggravated with, with uh, John Rich, uh, who directed Easy Come, Easy Go. And, uh, you were in that movie too. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't no, it wasn't no big thing. Elvis just said, you know, that uh, he he kind of. I mean, we clowned around a whole lot, and I guess you know, to a director. Uh, they got a responsibility of bringing it in on time and all this other stuff, and you, uh, you could respect that. But you know, uh, we clowned around so much, and if it took too long, and he was supposed to be shooting in that time, and I think John Rich said, you know, you know, whenever you and you guys, you know, uh, get through funding, I'd like to get this shot. Done and uh, that kind of set up us off. He said, "Look, he said, let me tell you something. We'll get the shot done, and I promise you, we'll get it brought in on time." He said, "But the day that making films ceases to be fun is the day I quit making them." And so that kind of broke <laughs> that, that level of feel right quick, like. But that's the only time, you know. Uh, Everybody else, you know, golly, they were all right in, and most of the time, you know, a lot of them would join in, you know. Uh, Arthur Nadell, you know, he... <laughs> he wanted he, to be he, in on it. He was, yeah, he, he was uh, really a, a lot of fun to work with, a good guy. Was he the director? He was the director, and... Uh, at the end of the movie, when we finished filming all that, they had the cast party, as they call it, and uh, it was his birthday. And so we all decided, you know, let's get together. He said, you know, uh, we'll do this, we'll do that. So what we did do is we all got up, we all went around. And we started singing Happy Birthday. And we picked the cake up and just dumped it on top of his head. <laughs> and he just started there. And then he started dying laughing. And he got up and he made a little speech. He said, let me tell you something. We've been doing this movie, I think like eight weeks or something. He said, and I've seen these guys have fun and and the, even the crew and all were in on it. He said, I was a little bit hurt until this happened. He <laughs> said, if y'all hadn't have done this, he said, I would have felt like I was an outcast. He said, this this just made my day. He <laughs> said, uh, y'all pulling this prank on me. He said, no, don't, don't feel bad. He said, I love it. He said, you know, if you hadn't have pulled something on me, it would have just been another film that was made, and, you know, that everybody had fun but me. <laughs> <laughs> so we did a lot of crazy stuff. Uh, we had, we did one thing about it. We did have, have fun making them all. Uh, I can truthfully say that, you know. And I think, uh, I think that ease to cast, and even the the prop people, all of them, you know, would get in on it a little bit, you know. And uh, it was just so much fun. It really was. And that's uh, did Elvis ever get disappointed about things he couldn't do, or that they asked him not to do, um, because of, of, of his um career? I, I was gonna say, I don't, I don't know if anything, if he wanted to do it, he did it. Yeah. I mean, especially when he was at home, he, yeah. he did, he did whatever. I don't know. I mean, they were awful cautious, you know, but he did it anyway, you he know, did like it anyway. him. Him riding motorcycles and and you know, football, football and, and stuff like that. In skating. case you know he got hurt, it would it would delay uh -huh. you know uh, starting a production or something uh -huh. like that. And you know that cost that cost the studio money. 
And, yeah, uh, so that's one thing Ellis was sure of. He didn't want to, you know, to create any kind of dissension of him being able to. Papa Lou, uh, Papa Lou, where are you? You know, start the movie on time, and bye bye. You're interrupting me, and that <laughs> makes me so mad. That's a, you that's a no no, Bye bye. No, she, she uh, hears something, she can <clears throat> bark. You know. Well, we got keep her mouth together, but. It would <laughs> She like me had come off. Um, there's one more question, and then we'll go to a say goodbye and all that. But well, people want to know what do you think what do you about mean, we we oh you and me <laughs> and me and you. Um, uh, um, how do you feel about the uh, how expensive Graceland tours have have become? Uh. How do I feel? How do you feel about it? I think uh, I think it's really. Um, I mean, this is our opinion. I feel like a mother. No, I mean, I feel really uh, concerned for the fans and the tourists. I know it's a business and they have to make money. I understand that. But is there no lead way for some little gap there that they might you know, keep the price down some and all that? Uh, it seems like it goes up every yeah, year. Yeah, and I, you know, I... <clears throat> To, to I, I just, you know, I, 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 I'll be honest, I just don't like the way they they do right. it. I think they could, you know, shave here and there and uh, make it a little cheaper for tourists and for, for fans, you know. Uh, but, then, you know, again, I don't have nothing to do with that. That's, that's all Graceland and, and it's their business and how they run it, you know. Uh, We're not Graceland. Our name is <laughs> Dummies. <laughs> Dummies. Um, I don't know. I I don't know how people do it. I I know I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't pay that much to go. Of you course, will, I've you already, won't go. I won't. Then you're right. I won't. But I've already been, and I can understand how people. Yeah, but they had. I, that's what I'm about to say. I can understand how people just want to, you know, look at. Good cat. As much as they love Thank Elvis, want to see it, but I know one year everybody kind of sit out in the middle of the highway and and band it. I think it's horrible that you have to pay uh, to go up and and pay your respects um, at, at the candlelight service. I I know that they say, well, oh no, that's not we're not paying for that, but it's included in a package. I understand they got one hour in the morning. Well, yeah, seven a.m. Yeah, who's up at that time of the morning? Mm -hmm. That's, I mean, you know, it's just, um, anyway, we think it's high and uh, you got to love him a lot to do that, but that's, um, that's not, we don't have anything to do with it, so that's the name of that tune. Yeah. That's it. That is it. You got anything else to add? I just want to say, um... We appreciate all the um, people that have joined our channel and all the views and all of our things. We we appreciate uh, Danielle doing everything she does. And believe me, without Danielle, we couldn't do it. No, no. Because, uh, oh, I didn't mean, you know, uh, the conversation. I meant, you know, that's it, talking about Graceland. Oh, that's, yeah, that's <laughs> it, talking about Graceland. Yeah, I mean, yeah, but, um, what the heck here? <laughs> No, but that, uh, I guess we better wind this little yeah. episode up and uh, get started on a new subject. Yeah, and, and uh, subscribe and like and and know that we appreciate every bit of you, everything you do, and, and uh, send in those questions because we will answer them. And, too, in August, uh, don't forget we're having our event. Uh, questions and answers which is the first one we've done in a long time and it will be the only one the only place we will be 
is at um, Marriott. What is it, Daniel? Courtyard. Courtyard by Marriott in South Haven. Right. In South Haven. Right. And yeah, we're doing yeah. like three sessions Two Saturday days. and three sessions Sunday, which is the 11th, and 14th. the 13th, 13th and the 14th. And, 14th. and right now we're currently sold out. Um, of all tickets except for four tickets left at 10 o'clock on Sunday. Okay. Yeah. And, and I can't got, wait. This but you can reach like, out to the Facebook page um, message there if you're interested in any ticket information or merchandise. And, uh, oh, it, 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 <clears throat> we haven't been able to do this in a long time. We've wanted, you know, we like to be yeah, able just to sit around, and, sit around and, and, and actually, you know, act crazy and talk and be silly and talk. Uh, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> talk with the Talk with all the we used to do the, we used to travel that. places and do you that. You know, we, I, and, I started doing this back in '78, right uh -huh. after Elvis's death, and uh, a lot of the fan clubs would in, would invite me mm -hmm. and, and pay my expenses and all that to come and and, and we, do we've it been and all to that. so many and, and uh, you know I I I enjoy that so much and I really miss it and I thought well, you know why can't we do that and Danielle and Nolan came up with this idea. And uh, got it set up. For I us. said, "Well, you know, uh, we'll see if it goes good. You know, we'll we'll do it, and if it don't, then I'll leave town. You know." <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, but it's a it's an atmosphere that yeah. <clears throat> it's like just us I sitting here right now. Be, you know? uh, you're free to ask any questions. We won't uh, we won't call none of them. Uh, we'll a answer it. Well, uh, we you, don't know if we'll answer every one of them or not. Depends on how how many. Yeah, yeah, we'll answer anybody. <laughs> we'll answer, anybody. I'm, I'm talking one. about. I'm talking about. Depends on what the question is. Well, I'm gonna try to answer it. If well, yeah, I, we'll try. I, I answer it. May now. It may not be what you want to hear. Yeah. Or you may not like it, but remember, it's somebody <laughs> somebody wants to know. Or either mm -hmm. way, it would, the question wouldn't be right. asked, and I'll be as I'll be truthful about it as best I know it, and uh, if you know, all I tell you is if it if it's not what you wanted to hear, just remember it's you know somebody else asked a question and I answered it. If offends anybody, Sorry. or anybody you know uh, gets their feelings hurt, which I hope really not. don't think they will. I hope not. Uh, then you know, like I say, feel free to ask whatever you want to, and we'll have a I hopefully a good old time. Yeah, say. I didn't mean that we wouldn't. Add, I, I meant there are some personal Look, say things. what you mean or don't <laughs> say it. I meant like, like when we did our book. There's you know something. Yeah, there are some things that are not anybody's business. You know, that's real personal mm -hmm. and. Well, yeah, that's you, get two, two, you get two, 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 you know, and yeah, it I'm wouldn't gonna, benefit anything. No. Uh, and it would hurt Elvis, you know. But every anything you want to ask, would. I've Bob, had um, a Bob. few people ask um, just kind of what it's going to be like. First of all, I'm going to post a, um, a Google map probably or um, something along those lines, an online map um, that pinpoints where it is so that you can push it in on your phone or GPS or push it in on your phone. It'll take you to the map. You can hit start and it'll pick up your location and take right. you straight there. Right. Um, the way that we've approximated it, it's about 12 minutes from Graceland give or take depending on traffic um, but it's right off Goodman Road in South Haven just south of Memphis um, how we're planning to do it there's approximately 30 people in each session 30 guests and we're gonna look at probably an hour to an hour and 15 minutes of questions and answers and that's to a lot about an hour or, for, or 45 minutes to an hour to get your picture signed take any selfies that you're wanting to take or pictures with your camera um, and we are going to ask that there are no videos or voice recordings during the question and answer, but any still shots with your camera or phone, you're more than welcome to take. Um, but that's about the length that it's going to be so that everybody gets their chance to get their pictures autographed. Um, if I have not reached out to you to get your pictures picked out that you want, message me if you've paid for your tickets and we'll get you down for which pictures you want and I'll have a packet for you at the door. Uh, no tickets are going to be mailed out or emailed. You'll check in with your name at the door. Yeah. So that kind of covers that, and we'll have more information as we get closer. And there, there will be no tickets at the door because we, 
we'll have sold out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, no tickets at the door, too, because we had to have head count of each show. Yeah. Oh. Um, but that, well, that'll be how we check in. It because it's going to be... Uh, what we're what we're hoping that it's going to and, and I think it will because we know a lot of you and and a lot of people a whole lot, uh, whole yeah. lot of you and um it'll just be fun to yeah. just be able just to sit down with you and you know just not have to be we want it to be up, laid back and laid comfortable back, where right. you can relax cool off well, if, you hadn't not, a, if you hadn't got a lounge chair I won't be right. here <laughs> Maybe laid out. We'll have uh, chairs. I, I don't like. I don't know about Billy, but I don't like to stand up at the head of the line. Oh God! Yeah, I want to be seen. <laughs> no. It's not a, a, it's a not red not carpet or Everybody black tie. I got. Uh, I got some good old fashioned arthritis knees, <laughs> we have to and they, they hurt me. So I will probably be in a chair a lot of the times. Uh, what well, everybody else will be too. If, 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 if I want. have to get up, you know, it's gonna be bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, just for him. Well, then, yeah, uh-huh. for me, cause I'll have to buckle on you quick. But we can't wait to see you and fall and kill my old self. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> um, yeah, did I say that? Yeah. Uh-huh. But we can't wait to see everybody. And until the next time. Wait a minute. Be sure and subscribe. If you don't, and I find out who you are, <laughs> I'm going to send you a dirty letter. <laughs> and I'm going to put it in some mud and mail it to you. <laughs> that's as dirty as it's going to get. But be sure to subscribe. We'd love to have you. Yes. And okay. with that, Elvis fans, fans matter. matter. If you haven't yet, check out our Facebook page, EFM, Elvis Fans Matter, to check out information on the question and answer on August 13th and 14th with Billy and Joe Smith. For ticket information, contact Danielle Rowe. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching.